Ooh, get your iced coffee, baby. So today I'm gonna to be testing out a bunch of new makeup that just recently launched. I got a mixed bag of drugstore and high end. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare. And today I am so excited to test out these products, especially the new L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear 24 hour blush, the matte blushes that just released. I am also going to do a comparison between the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Translucent Powder compared to their original. So without further ado, let's get into the video. How you doing? Okay, well, I do have some of my complexion products on. I did prime my complexion with the Milani Glow Drops. This is a radiance boosting serum. I also use it as a primer. I do have normal to dry skin, so it does give my skin that extra radiance, that extra glow. But yeah, I just use that. And since we're testing out the new infallible Freshwear matte blushes, I figured I would go ahead and use the new L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I'm in the shade N3. I'm actually really been enjoying this foundation. Yeah, so happy Mother's Day to all of my mothers out there. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you are spoiled and you don't have to do the dishes like me. <laughs> No, we're gonna go out to eat, so no dishes for me today. But yeah, so I already have my base on. Do you remember back in the day, back in the 90s, we used to say, I have my base on, and I also bought a brand new concealer. It's the brand new one from Natasha Denona. It's the High Glam Concealer. This launched not too long ago. It comes in 50 shades, and I'm in the shade YP3. Now, I have the most difficult time trying to pick out the proper shade on the Sephora website. Oh my gosh, I hope it's the right shade. I've been testing it out recently and uh, you'll see. But yeah, it retails for $30. It contains really good skin loving ingredients, but it's also supposed to be full coverage and brightening at the same time. I can't believe I paid $30 for a concealer, you guys. Since I have my base on, I'm gonna go in with this new High Glam Concealer. Now, I have tested it out earlier in the week, and let me tell you, it is full coverage. It's supposed to cover up the dark circles under your eyes, but also be hydrating at the same time. And from what I've experienced earlier this week, you don't need a lot of this concealer. It does have a unique doe foot. It's like shaped like a triangle, and it has a little vessel right through there that has the concealer. My last video, I totally forgot concealer. And just put a tiny bit. I do like the size and shape of this doe foot because it really gets into those nooks and crannies. And I'm just gonna put a couple of dots right through here to brighten because I do have discoloration around my eyes and I tend to get red through here. I love the components. I love the doe foot. But will I love the concealer? That is the question. I don't have anything under my eyes. Usually I go in there with a color corrector, but since we're using a full coverage concealer today, I'm hoping this will do the trick. So it simmered on my face for a moment. I'm gonna take the heat of my ring finger and tap that in. Ooh, that is super thick, let me tell you. And you know what? And sometimes I do like a thinner consistency in terms of concealer, but since we're about to head into the summertime and it gets super humid here in the deep south, sometimes I like to reach for a thicker formula so it doesn't just kind of melt off my face. But so far, since I used a tiny amount, wow. It is definitely brightening. So far, I've been super pleased with the performance of this concealer. $30 sounds like a lot for concealer, and to be honest, it is, because recently my all-time favorite concealer is from Physicians Formula, the Butter Glow Concealer, you guys. Oh, perfect for mature skin and that delicate under eye area. It's very hydrating. But today, it's all about Natasha Denona. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and just tap it in. So concealer's on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my lights. Very brightening. It feels hydrating. Now remember, it is a thicker consistency from what I'm normally used to, but again, it's gonna start getting hot. It's gonna start getting humid here, so I want something that's going to stay in place. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some bronzer. And since we're trying out the brand new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Blushes, I'm gonna use their matte bronzer. I love their matte bronzer, it's beautiful. It lays so smooth on the skin, and I figured since we're going with the blush today, might as well use their bronzer. 
So let's talk about the brand new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Matte Blushes. Now this is available in four shades. I picked up two shades. I picked up Fearless Coral and Confident Pink. Now upon first inspection, they look very similar, but as you can see, Coral is a little bit deeper than the pink one. Now these retail for $15.99. They're supposed to be sweat proof, waterproof, transfer proof. I have high hopes, but let's go ahead and swatch Fearless Coral. Gorgeous. This would be beautiful for summertime. I'm so excited about this. And then Confident Pink. They're super matte, super pigmented. I am trying to get this off my fingers and if you think that's bad, wait till you put it on the face. I've been testing out this blush for the last two weeks. Today, I'm gonna go in with Confident Pink. I'm gonna use a tiny blush brush, and that is one touch of the blush. Look how much pigment there is on there. Now, I'm gonna tap it off. A lot comes off, okay? Now, this is what I got. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and tap it on. and the pigment is beautiful. However, it is so deeply pigmented, it is really hard to blend. And I'm really using a very light hand here. The first time I applied this blush, Ava, my daughter was like, what happened to your face? Why do you have so much blush on? I was like, I'm just testing out this new blush, Ava. And she's like, mom, you've got to tone it down. And she was right, you just need if you get one swipe on your blush brush, that's all you need and be sure to tap off the residual because I'm telling you, this is a pretty blush, but when you work with something that's so pigmented, you definitely have to use a light hand. Now this is looking super pretty. One touch, tap it off and then apply. Now on this side, it's applying super splotchy. You guys, I've been trying to work with this blush for the last two weeks and I'm telling you, it is just way too pigmented. It's easier to build up pigment than it is to tone it down. So if you do decide to purchase this blush, a little bit goes a long way. And I know I say that expression a great deal on this channel, but I am telling you, this blush for me is a little too pigmented. I know, isn't that crazy? And I find the more you try to blend it in, the more it rubs off my foundation. So I thought today it would be a good idea to use L'Oreal on top of L'Oreal on top of L'Oreal. But I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what foundation I use, what primer I use, whenever I try to blend in the blush, it just creates patchiness trying to fix that area right through here. I find the most effective way of applying this blush is just tapping it in because if you use sweeping motions, it's going to rub a patchy spot. I got it to work this time. Now that I have the majority of my complexion products on, I wanted to dive into the new Monochrome's Essential Eyeshadow Trio from Glossier. Now, Glossier is now available in the store at Sephora, and I had so much fun going through some of their products, and I love a good eyeshadow trio. Now, these retail for $22, and they come in so many different color stories, and last week when I featured it in my Sephora haul, you guys said, yes, review this eyeshadow palette. And let me tell you, it is so pretty. It's called Mist, and it is a beautiful, cool-toned lavender eyeshadow palette. Now, it consists of one matte, a shimmer, and yeah, you guessed it, a very shimmery, glittery top coat. If you want to experiment with color, these colors are very soft and very muted, so they're super easy to work with. They're not gonna be like a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette or a Pat McGrath where you're struggling with pigment. This particular eyeshadow palette is beautiful if you just want a wash of color and you wanna experiment with color without going over the top. So I'm gonna show you how I use this eyeshadow palette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go in with the matte shade here and I'm just gonna go right in the crease and just sweep it back and forth. These are not super pigmented, so you can build up the color and the opacity of the shade. I love this lavender because it's so cool toned and I think it's flattering on a lot of skin tones. I'm gonna use my finger and go in with this shimmer shade right through here. It's quite buttery and I'm just gonna put it right on top of the lid. It really does lay smoothly on the lid and if you just wanna do these two shades, 
for your eyeshadow look? You can, it's super simple. Look how pretty that is, oh, so, so pretty. This shade here, the last brightest one right here, this does contain glitter. So if you don't like glitter, it's not super chunky, it's actually kind of finely milled glitter, but I have noticed glitter the next day. But let's go ahead, pop it right in the center. Make that eye look more wide awake, just in the center, right above your iris. I find that using my fingertips, using a shimmer or a glitter shade is the best tool because you can pat in that pigment and kind of set that glitter in place. And then take the original first brush, that first shade, and just kind of blend it out. See how quick and easy that eyeshadow look was? Now, maybe lavender is not your cup of tea, but they do have some beautiful other color stories, more neutral tones, more warm tones as well. But I thought lavender was just so, so pretty. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner mascara, finish up my brows, and then we are gonna test out the brand new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Eyes are done. Okay, as usual, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Grip Eyeliner in Brown Denim. I just tight line my upper waterline to give my lash band that extra oomph to make them look thicker. But then I went in with the Huda Beauty Quick and Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen in Brown, and I just went to my tear duct and just flatly went across right where my eyelashes begin to grow. And I found this method of lining my eyes, especially the top of my eyes, super beautiful and super effective effective as opposed to doing eyeliner on the entire lid. It makes my inner corner pop. It makes my eyes give that little almond shaped eye without sacrificing your lid space. So that was something I've been playing around for the last couple of weeks and I wanted to share with you because once you put the mascara on and you have that fluttery mascara on, it's gonna make your eyes pop. So it gives your eyes that definition without sacrificing your lid space and making your eyes look heavier. But for mascara, I just went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. You know, this is one of my all-time favorites. And I made sure to use the wand tip applicator to fan out my outer lashes so I have that almond eye effect. So if you have rounder eyes and you want your eyes to have that effect, use your wand tip applicator and fan them out. So now we are gonna set the under eye area because there is a slight fallout from the Glossier eyeshadow. We are gonna test out the new Ultra Blur Translucent Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercer. Now, I bought the mini size, which retails for $26. It comes in three different shades. Ordinarily, I would get the translucent light, but for this one, I actually picked up translucent light shade honey. So, and I thought, honey? It's got, uh, honey? <laughs> I thought, since it's about to be summertime and we're about to head to the beach and my skin's gonna get a little tan, I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to get the honey shade. What is the difference between the original formula and this new ultra blur formula? Well, let's find out. The iconic translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier is a soft matte finish, 24 hour shine control, vitamin C and silica powders for oil control ideal for normal to oily skin, ideal for everyday setting and baking. Now, I don't bake under my eyes. I just like to press the powder and set my concealer. For the Ultra Blur formula, it's talc-free. It provides a natural finish, blurs pores and imperfections. Ding, ding, ding. It also includes hyaluronic acid. So I've got normal to dry skin. So I love having any sort of moisture put back into my skin, especially when it comes to a setting powder. It's supposed to be ideal for normal to dry skin and it's ideal for everyday setting. Let's see what she looks like. Now this is the mini size. It contains amino acid powders and silica for ultra blurring. It is deeper in skin tone. I'm just gonna show you that right here. Whoops, yeah. See that? The original formula, this is the new formula, Ultra Blur. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one eye with the Ultra, Ultra Blur. <laughs> one side of my face with the Ultra Blur and the other side of my face with the original iconic formula. Let's go in with the original formula. I'm gonna take my flat concealer brush, tap off the excess and just press right through here. You guys, I love the original formula. It is so beautiful on the skin. It is iconic for a reason, and it just sets everything in place. And it's super smoothing at the same time. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, now I'm gonna clean off this brush and I've got a little brush cleaner here. And now I'm gonna go in with the new Ultra Blur formula. This looks a lot, there's a lot in here. So I'm gonna take that, tap off the excess. Same method, I'm just gonna press it. Ooh, and you know what? There's really not that big of a difference with the shade. It does look deeper than the regular translucent powder, but once it's on the skin, man, it is beautiful. Now this is not supposed to settle into fine lines. It's supposed to set everything in place. I'm gonna take a hair bit more, tap off, go on this side of the face. Now this is supposed to be blurring. Of course, it's got hyaluronic acid for comfort. I'm gonna turn down my lights so we can see up close and personal. This is the side of the original formula of the Laura Mercier. This is the new Ultra Blur. Can you tell a difference? I honestly can't. I really can't. For lips today, I'm gonna to go in with Merit Beauty's Shade Slick Gelee Sheer Tinted Lip Oil. It's no secret that lip oils are huge this year. I know there's so many lip oils that are coming out this year. It seems like the big trend for spring and summer, and quite frankly, I am living for it because I don't like heavy lipstick. You know, I want something that's gonna be sheer, have a little bit of pigment, make my lips look juicy, but I got the shade Maraschino. It's got a tiny little doe foot, Oh, yeah. This is very pretty. This is a lip oil for you ladies that don't like sticky, greasy, gloppy lip oils. I know there's certain lip oils out there that can run a little goopy and sticky. This one, to me, out of all the lip oils that I've tried in the last recent months, and trust me, I've tried a lot, this is the most, this is the thinnest oil formula that I have tested out almost to the point of where you really don't feel it, but at the same time, it's hydrating, it's beautiful, it has the perfect amount of pigment. If you're shopping for this shade, you're gonna be like, whoa, that's super bright. But no, it just gives such a beautiful glow, such a hint of pigment. This is a gorgeous shade, Maraschino. It's gonna be perfect for spring and summer. Now, if you don't wanna spend the $24 price tag on this, and who can blame you? I suggest purchasing the NYX Fat Oil Lip Oil. This retails for $9, and look at the shades. They're all, this one looks a little deeper in consistency, not as thin as the Merit, but oh my goodness, it is super hydrating, super juicy, and very pigmented. As far as longevity goes, it doesn't last as long and hydrates as long as my House Labs PhD lip oil. You know that is my holy grail, but this is a very good second place. Now, the last thing I wanted to share with you today is something I don't really talk about on this channel. Uh, I wanted to share with you what I'm wearing on my nails. Now, this is totally not sponsored. I totally picked this up at Target yesterday, but it is a nail polish from the company Olive and June. I was mesmerized by all of their shades of nail polish, and I hate hate painting my fingernails. I usually just use those gel stickers or I use press-ons, but this is from Olive in June. It's their quick dry formula and I'm in the shade Koala. I don't know why the shade just appealed to me. I think it's just a really cool color. It's kind of like a gray beige tone. Now, I don't have the patience to paint my nails, but this is definitely quick dry. It comes in such an array of beautiful shades. It definitely dries down quick. I used about two shades of this particular color. It was super shiny. And then I went on top with their quick dry top coat. Now this nail polish only retails for $7.50. And I thought, wow, this is fun. So I thought I would share that with you. And then the top coat I think is like $10? I'm not sure, but I'll be sure to list all the products listed down in the description box below. But I wanted to share with you this, this nail polish because the one thing I hate about painting my fingernails is waiting for them to dry. Because I always, always, I always mess them up before they dry. And then when you sleep at night, you wake up the next morning, you get all the bed sheet marks all over your nails. Thankfully, that did not happen. It's a miracle, I'm telling you. I don't know, I really like this nail polish. I've only been wearing it for like 24 hours so far. I've washed dishes, I've cleaned, and so far so good. They haven't chipped, but yeah, here we are with the final look. And I have some thoughts. Let's start out with the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Matte Blush. You guys, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I don't like it. 
I don't like it. It's patchy, it's too pigmented, it's difficult to work with. I just wanna put on my blush and go. But yeah, I got it to work today, amazingly enough, thank goodness, but it's still super patchy. I don't like it. It's $15.99, it's in my opinion, too expensive for drugstore makeup. If you're looking for a beautiful powder blush that looks fantastic on mature skin, hello, Essence the blush, I'm telling you, this is, one of my all-time favorites, I think this retails for $3.99. Pigmented, smooth, not patchy, and way more affordable than the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Matte Blush. Save yourself the $15.99, that's all I have to say. And as far as the Glossier Monochromes Essential Eyeshadow Trios in Mist, you guys, Lavender is a hard eyeshadow to formulate, but I find for us, for mature skin, this is just a beautiful, cool tone lavender eyeshadow palette. It's super easy to blend out, super beginner friendly. You've got three shades. You can easily get away with just the two shades through here, but I love putting that little pop of sparkle on top of the lid to open up the eye. You know what? Like I said, it's not the most pigmented, but I find if you're a beginner and you want to experiment with color, this is the perfect eyeshadow palette for you. Now, as far as the difference between the new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder compared to their iconic original formula, I think they're both beautiful. As far as blurring, if you wanna get super technical, super technical, I find the Ultra Blur side is just a hair more blurring, just a hair. This is a beautiful powder, but if you have the original, stick with it. You don't need the new one. You know what? I test this out just, just to make sure it works for our mature skin. But yeah, but yeah, those are my final thoughts on all of these makeup products. What do you think? Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And I want to wish each and every one of you a beautiful, blessed, and happy Mother's Day. And I hope you have a fantastic day. So mahal kita, Mwah. I love you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.